Hello, I've uh, got this VW cell taken out and it's inside of a more transparent receptacle. The plates are down here at the bottom and I can see the gas production here drawing about 6 amps is what it's been doing. If I turn it on you can see my problem is uh, a lot of gas but it doesn't immediately materialize into bubbles. It stays in the liquid and the liquid turns foggy but I don't get anywhere and I'm drawing a little over 12 volts as you can see the voltmeter I'm drawing a little over 12 volts and so my idea is to try to solve that problem with the gas turning very very uh, I guess cloudy milky with uh, bubbles if there's a way to get the bubbles out this would be much more productive I'll play around with some ideas but that's my thought for the day I'm running this off of of course batteries and the battery charger is unplugged at the moment but it's not on but the batteries are fully charged and so you can see I, I've uh, I've got this pretty much set up like a car system so I'm going to turn it off and I'll do a volume test and then we'll see what we can do that's all for now I'm back I uh, put a funnel inverted above the plates and I have several magnets above it the ceramic magnets also have little round magnets in between creating a space and a different sort of magnetism. I'm basing this on something that I that Lyman Epley did on top of a tube cell. Uh, he put a magnet on top and it seemed to uh, attract the bubbles and make bigger bubbles which then went to the top. It got rid of the cloudiness or greatly reduced it. So what I'm doing here is I'm turning the cell on now and seeing how this works. I've already tested it. It worked great. It seems to uh, stop the uh, fo uh, fogginess and creates a a point where the bubbles actually attach themselves to the magnets and you get larger bubbles and a strong flow straight to the top I did a volume test and it was exactly the same volume of gas being produced but the difference is they have less fogginess and the, the uh, even after several minutes of running there seems to maintain a level of clarity in the lower part of the electrolyte and so I'm going to go ahead and hook this up now to my holding tank above there so that the bubbles will circulate into the holding tank and the feed will feed to the bottom of the cell through a hose I've got attached here and that will create a circulation it'll keep the cell cooler but I'm thinking it will keep the it will eliminate any dis, uh, color discoloration or fogginess in the, uh, the cell but you can see this is working beautifully uh, the magnets are breaking up the bubbles into bigger bubbles to stank to the top because they're larger and we're getting a strong flow as you can see a real strong flow right up through so I'm going to go ahead and stop this film and I'm going to hook it up correctly and finish topping it off and we'll see how it works okay I'm back I've got it hooked up now to the red tank water will come out of here with air and it will carry the bubbles straight up into the tank and they will return water back through to here back down to the bottom of the cell where the electrodes are and then we have a sight glass where we can see what's going on in here I ran this for 30 minutes it did not cloud up so it works so this is something I need to do uh, on my other cell I'm going to put this back into the gremlin but not with this clear piece but back in with the uh, tube it came out I'm gonna put this back in the Volkswagen rather not gremlin and this will operate I'm gonna show you this is running maybe six amps I say uh, at the very high end at a possible seven but I think it's really running between five and six and you can see the bubbles come out and it, the magnets control the bubbles the foam no longer develops past the bottom it stays clear on the bottom the water coming back from the top here is clear to the cell and the water even going up remains clear it's amazing how much difference I didn't expect it to work so this is a good idea if anybody wants to try that I've got three ceramic magnets I've got three little solid magnets between them just as a separator and then solid magnets and then another one last 
ceramic magnet with three little separator magnets and they're all held together by magnetism it's not easy they push against each other somewhat on those little solid magnets that are in there but it creates that little vortex I need for the bu the big bubbles form there and you can see that what escapes not treated is just a little bit of foam at the top but it stays clear at the bottom I ran it for 30 minutes and it remained clear and what was even more amazing is the water no longer is foamy coming up to the cell it's leaving clear you can see the water going up is clear so what I have here now is a uh, clear water going to the top of the sail returning it's a uh, fantastic I just have to figure out a way to incorporate this funnel and magnets into any cell I make in the future take a little more space but you need enough space for extra water anyway and so basically I just wanted to share that with everybody I'm drawing I'm using the charger down here to back up the battery because I've been running it so long running about 12 and a half volts and I'm running um, like I said maybe six amps on this particular cell which is the most I'd ever dare want to run on that Volkswagen but uh, I usually run about five on the Volkswagen but this has gotten a little aggressive because I haven't uh, properly diluted the electrolyte nonetheless look at it it remains clear down here and uh, a while ago in the first part of the video you saw that within seconds it just turned to a fog and if I'd have continued to run it for 15-20 minutes it would have even been foggy all the way through had I reconnected it like I did yesterday and had this up here it would have even been foamy and foggy going up to the tank to that red holding tank at the top so this uh, all would have just turned into a milky mess but uh, now it's clear that means uh, I think the cell efficiency will stay uh, high even as it gets uh, several hours runtime. I'm thinking this uh, this is what anyway this is the way I plan to do it. And I hope uh, as I put this on the internet, other people will see what I've done and maybe improve on it a lot. I'm going to continue working on it, see if I can make it better. I'm going to look for other magnets and other ways to do this. But uh, what's amazing is those ceramic magnets don't rust. I don't know why they should unless the iron is so buried so deep in there that it doesn't have a chance to rust I know that some of them are painted but others are not and they still don't rust any rust that winds up in the system does wind up attached to the magnet anything that you may have had so basically it just winds up uh, cleaning itself out that's all for now talk to you later bye